Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 trailer. Now this is actually trailer number 2. I did not do a trailer review for volume number or for trailer number 1. I just forgot or didn't have time. I posted something really quick on my Instagram, but I didn't really talk about it. But this one I really want to talk about because we get a lot more meat as to what's happening in this movie. Now of course I'm not going to show the trailer here, but I will leave a link down in the description down below for you to check out. But these are some of the points that I really wanted to touch on when I watched the trailer. First being this massive squid monster on this like realm, platform, planets type of thing. I don't really know what to call it. I don't know. I'm sure he has a name in the comic books or something like that. Some reference. I just don't know who he is yet. Um, but he's just like this massive squid monster that the team has to fight for whatever reason. But I don't think he's going to be the big bad of the movie. Just because he sort of seems smaller as far as scale goes as to where the scope of the movie looks. But I just don't feel like he's that threatening with Drax trying to like kill him with like the straight mouth to monster sort of attack. And like it just doesn't feel like that's going to be the big bad. So I think that's going to be uh, on their adventure to fighting the big bad. Maybe they have to get something in this platform, fight this squid monster thing in order to get to the next step for the big bad, but I don't think it's actually the main villain of the movie. Now, of course, I have to talk about it, but we have to talk about Baby Groot. Now, Baby Groot is going to be super, super cute. We've seen pictures. We've seen what he's going to look like. We've seen him in action, and now we have him talking. Of course, he still only says, I am and Groot exclusively in that order, as Rocket says in the first movie, but it's a lot cuter, and it's fun, and I like how he has a small voice, where when he was big, he had this big, booming voice. Now we hear Vin Diesel say, I am Groot, just on a minimal scale. Not necessarily like chipmunk style, but it's just in a cute, kind of gravelly, still sort of way, and I really like that a lot. I am Groot. No! no that's the button that will kill everyone! Try again. I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Uh-huh. No! Also, what I like about the Rocket and Groot dynamic, these guys are my favorite characters, um, but I like it a lot because I think it's going to change now. Because Rocket always sort of looked after Groot as far as his protector and his friend. Now he's going to look, look after him more as not only his friend, but maybe as a father figure because he is a baby. He's smaller. So I think he's just going to have to a lot more caring for him and looking out for him. I know he knows he can take care of himself, but he has to sort of teach him all these things again. Like we saw in the trailer with the button that he's not supposed to push. And of course, Groot wants to push the button. I think and Root Rocket just wants to even put tape over it just so he doesn't have to deal worry about Groot pushing the button that will blow up this atomic bomb. It shows Rocket has to sort of teach Groot these things as well as be himself and I think that's going to be an interesting dynamic in how things are going to play out especially between those characters. Another big thing that I took away from this trailer involves Drax. Now we're going to get a lot more Drax from the looks of it and it's going to be hilarious. Now there's a couple of scenes in this trailer where he again doesn't quite get the moment or understand it. He takes things very literally and he really has a lot more comedy and a lot more involvement. Dave Batista seems a little bit less serious and is able to embrace that this character, although it doesn't takes literally everything literally, it's a lot more fun and he can have a lot more fun with it. And it's going to be a lot more fun of a movie overall in tone, I think. We also get a lot more of the same old, same old with Gamora and Peter Quill. I hope that's not really going to be a big dynamic as far as the story goes, as their relationship. They sort of went towards it in the beginning, but I think that was more to set up the characters and their sort of relationship. But now that I think they've spent more time together in space and whatnot, I think that they may have more understand their dynamic and maybe Peter Quill still likes her sexually as we find out from Mantis, who is the character that touches Peter Quill's hand and tells her that he wants, he has sexual feelings for Gamora, thus letting Drax go off into this massive laugh. But essentially what it is, is I don't think that they're, that's going to be in their background. That's going to be in the back burner. That's not their main focus. Of course, that tension will always be there. That's what's going to drive some of the elements of the story as far as Quill and Gamora are concerned. But I don't think it's going to be a major dynamic. I think it's going to be something like maybe they kind of casually have 
relations every once in a while or something, but they're not going to be a primary relationship that's going to be constantly happening and driving this story forward. So that's all really I need to talk about. I mean, this movie looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I think the overall scope of this film is obviously going to be a lot bigger, even though it's a galaxy, but I like the thing that they made the most about this trailer is I have no idea what's going to be happening in this movie. I mean, I even went back and watched the trailer for the first film again, the very first and second trailers, and they gave away a little bit, but it was a setup movie. So you had to understand who the villain was going to be, what was going to be happening, um, that the Guardians of the Galaxy, this team would come to, ragtag team would come together and have to stop some villain and protect the galaxy for whatever reason. However, in this trailer, we have no idea what's going on. Even in the other trailer, in the first trailer, there's real no sense of the plot, which I like a lot. I don't want to know everything about this film going into it. I want to experience this movie, and I think that's what's going to be so much fun about it, is not only does James Gunn know how to have fun with these characters, put them in a fun environment and fun action pieces, but he also knows that he's a fan of film himself, so he knows he doesn't want to make a movie where you know everything going into this movie. I'm sure there will be synopsises that are going to come out, um, and people will read them, and then we will come out and know certain elements of the film before we see it, but we won't really know the scope or what's at stake or what may be happening fully or find out some things that are going to drive the story into a whole new direction that maybe we didn't expect until we see the actual movie. And that's what's really exciting. He's making this fun again, kind of what J.J. Abrams did with Star Wars, where we didn't really know who the villain was going to be, what was going to be happening, stuff like that. So it makes it even more of an interesting movie to go and see in the theater because you don't know what to expect. And that just makes it a lot more fun for especially today's audience where we tend to ruin a lot of things for ourselves on the internet. So that's pretty much all my thoughts about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Trailer 2. Um, I can't wait to see this movie when it comes out next year. I think that Guardians of the Galaxy was one of my favorite movies, maybe of all time, definitely I think one of my favorite Marvel movies, just because it was so different and it didn't feel like a Marvel movie. So I definitely can't wait for this sequel. Guys, let me know what you guys think about the trailer down in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to check that link. So if you've seen it, if you have not seen the trailer, be sure to check it out and come back and let me know what you thought about it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You really are the best. And I'll see you in the next one.